Rice water has been buzzing around in gardening circles as the secret elixir for plants, an old kitchen hack turned viral trend. Some claim it boosts growth, strengthens roots, and even enhances flowering. Others write it off as just a gimmick. So we decided to put it to the test. For one full week we watered our seedlings and container plants using nothing but rice water, and what happened might just surprise you. Let's start with what rice water actually is. When you rinse rice before cooking, the water turns cloudy. That cloudiness is a mix of starches, trace minerals, and tiny particles left behind from the rice grains. Traditionally this water is poured down the drain, but in many parts of Asia, it's used to fertilize plants thanks to its natural content of micronutrients like potassium, phosphorus, and small amounts of nitrogen. These elements, though mild, are essential for seedling development and early vegetative growth. Now rice water isn't a miracle potion, but it does have real potential, if you use it right. The first thing I noticed when applying it to freshly sprouted seedlings was the moisture retention. The slightly starchy content seems to hold water in the soil just a bit longer, which benefits small root systems that need consistent hydration. That's key during the early stages of seed starting. Instead of quick drying cycles, the rice water helped the seed starting mix stay damp, without getting soggy. Within just a few days some seedlings, particularly leafy greens and herbs, started showing stronger stems and richer green tones. While it's not a drastic overnight change, the difference was noticeable. This makes sense. Rice water has amino acids and enzymes that can help stimulate microbial activity in the soil. Healthier soil microbes mean more nutrient exchange at the root level, which supports better growth with less reliance on synthetic fertilizers. However, it's important to make rice water fresh and avoid fermentation. Old rice water left out for too long starts to ferment and can harm plants rather than help them. On the third day of testing I used a batch that had been sitting out for over 48 hours. A few seedlings developed leaf spotting, a sign of microbial imbalance in the soil, likely caused by the fermented solution. So if you're going to try this, just keep it simple. Rinse your rice, catch the water, and use it within a day. Another discovery was how well rice water works on indoor container plants. House plants with delicate root systems responded beautifully. Spider plants, pothos, and even a struggling peace lily showed visible improvement in posture and leaf color by the end of the week. The starches seemed to act like a gentle energy boost, encouraging those roots to dig deeper and hold moisture more efficiently. But again, moderation is key. I alternated plain water with rice water to avoid buildup. While rice water won't replace compost tea or a full-spectrum organic fertilizer, it's a fantastic supplement, especially for lazy gardeners or anyone looking for a free, natural way to boost plant health. It's gentle, safe when fresh, and gives your soil life something to chew on. If you're already rinsing rice in your kitchen, this is an effortless way to reuse something most people throw away. After a week of testing, I can confidently say this. Rice water isn't hype, but it's not magic either. It's a mild, effective, and completely free addition to your gardening routine, especially during seed starting and early growth. It won't make up for poor soil or bad watering habits, but it can give your seedlings that extra bit of support when they're just getting started. If this experiment gave you something to think about, or something new to try, make sure to subscribe to Dirt Decoded. We turn everyday questions into real gardening knowledge, and don't forget to share this with fellow gardeners who love kitchen hacks that actually work. Until next time, keep growing smarter.